when I did my dandelion jelly recipe, so many people left wonderful comments about how they use dandelions that it caused me to do some more research about them. What I discovered is the whole plant is edible. I kind of already knew that part, but, but it, the research I found reinforced that. Of course, you can do your due diligence and research for yourself. But I did not know that dandelions are considered one of the superfoods. They are so nutritious uh, from the blooms all the way to the roots, but especially the greens. What I read was, uh, in fact, it even said one, one place that I was reading even said that the greens are so full of nutrients that they leave spinach and kale behind. You know, they're so far ahead of them. Now, I love spinach and kale. I grow it in my garden every year and, I, and they are good for you too. But I was really surprised to find out how nutritious dandelions are. While I was doing that research, I found all kinds of recipes. Of course, I'd already made the jelly, and I knew about people um, using the root for a coffee substitute, although I've never tried that. And then I also, of course, knew that people like to eat those fresh greens and mix them in with some of their other greens, so I knew all that. But I did not know, I'd never heard of anyone frying dandelion blooms. So, of course, this is Appalachia and we enjoy a lot of fried things. So I decided I would have to try that and see how it was. So over the weekend, I made Matt and I some and we really enjoyed them. So today, I'm going to show you how I fry dandelion blooms. So I've picked so many of the dandelions in our yard that I come down at Granny's to kind of raid her, her uh, the ones in her yard. And you want to use them as soon as you pick them because they kind of quickly deteriorate or kind of start closing up. So as soon as I go back up to the house, I'm gonna fry these. So you, in other words, you wouldn't wanna pick them and then think, well, I'm gonna pick them this morning and fry them for supper tonight. It, they wouldn't be as good because they close up. Okay, I have my cast iron pan with oil in it. You could use whatever kind of oil you prefer, and I've got it up to 350 degrees. I rinsed all of my dandelions, and now I've kind of set them out to dry. When you rinse them, uh, they'll all kind of wad up like that, and that would be, that's fine. They're still going to be fried dandelions and taste fine, but if you spread them back out, kind of, then they just kind of look prettier, but that's all that is. So then I have some uh, flour and cornmeal with salt and pepper. Almost all the recipes I've seen, people just use flour. They didn't use cornmeal, but I love that nutty taste of cornmeal, so I have mostly cornmeal with a little bit of flour. And then I'm just going to dip the um, dandelions into the egg and then I'm going to dip them into the flour. You could put them all in there at one time and kind of squish them around and that would be fine too, whatever how you need to do it. I'm just trying to keep mine kind of um, spread out, which you do not have to do that. Now a lot of people say that you should take off the little bottom uh, of it because it will be bitter but I don't really know how you'd do that and I didn't the ones that I've fried so far I just left it like it is and that was fine for me and Matt. Uh, Corey's helping me today so we'll see if that's fine with Corey. Looking forward to tasting. And then you just drop them in. And it doesn't take but just a few minutes, a few seconds, really, depending on the heat of your oil. And then you can turn them over um, and let the other side brown. And then once they are browned on both sides, you can put them out and let them uh, cool before you eat them. So you can see they turned out really nice. They kind of look like okra because you can see that green uh, through the breading because um, I didn't take off that bottom part. Now if you want to try them and take that off, you certainly can. They're really good. Taste to me is similar to if you've ever had fried mushrooms. Or maybe just, I mean, it, they're not as sweet as a, as a squash would be. But they're, I, I, mushroom is the best that I can tell. I mean, for me. Everyone tastes something different, though. 
I'm gonna make Corey come in and, and see, let's see what she thinks they taste like. Like most fried things, I'm positive that they would be better, you know, just after frying. As they sit, we're gonna get soggy. They're pretty addictive though. Oh good, it's different, but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's not that different though. It's like you said. I mean, it tastes like something something like familiar. Squash. Yeah, something that you wouldn't. I wouldn't taste this and be like, "That's a white. That's a weed in the yard." Mm -mm. It doesn't have that. Mm -mm. Um, it just yeah. has a kind of taste like, like I said, like a mushroom maybe or something. Yeah. It doesn't taste like you would think. Maybe like floral. It doesn't taste like that at all. But it's good because the texture is kind of different, kind of like a flower. I mean, like that. It's chewy. Yeah, yeah chewy. That's what I'm trying chewy, to say. Chewy, yeah. Really cool, though. Mm-hmm. And since it's like a dandelion, right, can you just trick yourself into being like, it's healthy. You well, know it's fried. I know it's fried, so that part's not as healthy, of course. But, as I said before, dandelion is one of the superfoods, so it is full of nutrients. Now, I don't know what frying does to it, but... It takes it away. Yeah, <laughs> but it still um, tastes good. But you could just eat... You want to just eat one of those? Let's eat one of those and see. Mm. You're not going to? I will. I've eaten one of those before and I didn't like it. It has more of a, a green taste, like, like you think of greens. But good, still. So when you were little, did anybody ever hold one under your chin? It's like you're supposed to hold it under people's chin You'll have to tell me. I know you, you'll remember. And if you see yellow, then it means you love butter. Something like that. I remember when we were little, we would do that. But I never really could see yellow. But well, I, I can I tell love you, butter. I love butter. If you've been on our channel, you know <laughs> I like to say more butter, more better. Yeah, yeah. So that's some of the folklore. I like that. Of course, dandelions are a sign of spring. And, um, you know, just a, a, they're just so bright and cheery, right? Don't you think so, Corey? Mm -hmm. Corey's being... Her attention span is on her dog, Olive. Who's, <laughs> she's, she's doing, who's doing so something. Good. We don't know what. She's behind us. Who knows what she's doing? So as I said, most of the recipes I've seen online only used flour to, to batter the... After they dipped them in the egg, then they dipped the dandelion blooms in flour, seasoned flour, whatever you prefer. But I really love the taste of cornmeal. If you watch my videos, you probably already know that. So that's why I went with it. It gives it a real nutty, it does, nutty yeah. kind of flavor, uh, if you like that. But we hope you'll drop back by often as we celebrate Appalachia, and I hope that we'll be able to share more wild foods with you in the future.